Cannery Run Brew Works has created a special place in the borough of Ambler. Well, I like dragons. Um, uh, our son's middle name uh, is Drake. Um, I have a dragon tattoo. Uh, also, when we uh, first started developing the concept of Tannery Run, I was playing a lot of Skyrim. Uh, Game of Thrones was huge then, so like you know, dragons were all, all over um, at that time. Actually, in middle school, I wrote a lot of poetry about dragons. I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not, a, not much of a poet anymore. I didn't anymore. know that. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I know about dragon poetry. So it's uh, it's it's been a, a theme for a long time. And the first beer that that Mac and I ever brewed together was the Double Dragon Splash, right? So it was the Red Dragon and the Blue Dragon. My side was the Red Dragon and that was a West Coast IPA, and his side was the Blue Dragon, and that was a Belgian IPA. Yeah, the same base malt, the same hot blend, just a different yeast and different hopping rates, and you come out with two completely different beers. And an awesome customer tasting experience, mm. because those two beers, while really have very few differences in ingredients, are widely different. That's a huge part of our brand identity. Splash Brewing is what we do. Uh, splash Brewing is actually just the two words split and batch smashed together. The method of split batch brewing in which the same base ingredients are used to make at least two different but similar sister beers by fermenting and treating each side with unique tender loving care. Cheers. Another one of our flagship splashes is the Ouroboros. This splash here in particular, I, I, I like this one because of how drastically different it is, and the only difference is here is that um, this one uses a Kvike, a, a Norwegian yeast, the Voss, and this one uses, you know, in uh, a New England hazy yeast. Um, and then this with Citra and Mosaic hops and Citra and Azaka hops. Everything else is exactly the same. You wouldn't know that these two beers are from the same base beer, drinking them side by side. And, and like, it's, it's fun. And Carly said it's a great way to engage customers. Someone can sit down and have the two beers and say, oh, um, because this is Citra and Azaka and this one is Citra and Mosaic, I can tell the difference of what the Azaka and what the Mosaic are actually doing to each other. So. Like, that's, I, that's the magic mm -hmm. of our splash brewing to me. Is that you can, like, you know, depending on what we in, intend, they could be extremely similar or drastically different. There, there are a lot of possible ways to split batch brewing. Party Garl is one of my favorite methods because we, we can make two extraordinarily different beers off of one mash. What we do is we take and we run off the, 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 the first runnings, the thickest, the, the most sugary uh, stuff into one kettle, and then we run the, the second runnings or the weaker stuff off into our second kettle. So we have two brew kettles. Uh, the first beer comes out very strong, very um, you know, pungent, very forward. That was one that we usually put in barrels or like you know extended aging barley wines, American strong ales, uh, imperial stouts. And then so, but the second one is the weaker versions uh, is more of like a table strength version. So if we're talking about you know, a barrel aged imperial stout, uh, we, are, we can put a, you know, four and a half percent um, stout on, on nitro. Same beer, same hops, uh, just one tends to be a stronger part of the beer and one tends to be the, the weaker parts. And it's really efficient to do it that way. Uh, if you're gonna make a super strong beer, you're gonna have those second runnings anyway. So instead of flushing them down the drain, we just brew a second beer out of it. We knew this location is really special. We are catty corner from the Ambler Theater. Act Two Theater is just another block beyond that. This is Butler Avenue, the main drag in Ambler Borough. So it's a really wonderful community yeah. here in Ambler. We yeah. love our walkable town. Even before we decided to do the brewing concept, Carla and I were already invested in, in Ambler pretty heavily. Um, you know, this is the home where our son uh, was born. We, he goes to school here. We know so many people in the community. We've worked together. We've uh, volunteered. We've built rain gardens, um, creek cleanups. You know, we're we're all about Ambler. So this was um, there was there was no other place that we could open up. We struggled with a name for a long time. We knew we had our splash concept down. We knew we wanted the brew pub. We played around with a lot of names. And there were so many great names already taken. You know, every time I'm like, oh, I wrote this great. And then you, like, you Google it, and of course, there's already two breweries with the same name. I'm probably already frightened over it. Over right. Yeah. So we decided to look local, very local. So local, we looked in our basement because 
the Tannery Run waterway flows below this building. I'm like, okay, Tannery Run. Yeah, maybe it sounds a little leathery, but mm -hmm. you know, we're gonna rewrite that brand image. We already have our, our brand icon, this like strong dragon. You know, we know what our spirit animal is. Mm -hmm. So we've got these parts of the brand already going. Let's just build it further. So it kind of comes to the, the logo concept, which I don't know if you can see. This is the first design. The concept was always there. So looks like a yin yang, right? which speaks to our split batch brewing concept. We've got our hop dragon, our malt dragon, and here through the center you get the water. That's our tannery run, our waterway. Three main ingredients in beer. Three of the four. Three of the four. So yeah, so we built that in here, and I like to say that the, the yeast is like the magic on top that you don't see. Mm. So The soul of the dragon. The magic. Mm. 